All right, same story, different day. Uh, I don't know. They're they're turning off my phone or something. I might have to start leaving it. I might have to start leaving it like this because, I mean, looking at me isn't isn't all any better than looking at the damn beach and the sky. I'm sure, but sometimes I feel like um, you need to see you need to see my expression so you can f see what I'm feeling some of you probably just listen and that's probably the best way just listen but I don't know sometimes I feel like when I'm looking at the camera whoa oh that was weird I just had a really bad um tinnitus ringing in my ears the devil is kicking my butt lately he's all over me it's a weird time I don't know if any of you are feeling it but all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. J.D. Nigel, word of truth coming to you from Huntington Beach, California, world famous, Bolsa Chica State Beach, Surf City. Uh, look at the clouds. The clouds alone are saying some crazy stuff. Anyhow, um, I just went into a I just went into a big thing about what's going on in the world. And uh, hold on, I gotta take this off. Oh. Slock ya. <laughs> hey, I could get my sweater off of that. The world in me. Well, the world did end, right? Let's see what I got. Am I still going? Two minutes already? Well, it took me a minute to take my sweatshirt off. <laughs> I don't know how time ticks by so damn fast. Um, anyhow. Um, so I was talking about this word of truth, J.D. Nyjah. I got to get rolling because it seems like time is speeding up. Um, I was talking about the way things are speeding up. <laughs> I was talking about how things are speeding up and my camera wasn't r running. I'm not getting better. I'm getting worse. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, let's go through it. The banking thing. They're obviously testing out the waters. They know that this banking system isn't gonna isn't gonna go on for much longer. They're they're planning on on dumping it and they're planning on getting everyone to take this mark. We can feel it. The devil's coming out. They're they're gonna make sure that when you take that mark that you know it's the devil. Because everything we see in movies, music, advertising, entertainment. Um, t-shirts, hats, the devil is like prancing around out here with his, with his buddy and her and her, her girlfriend and him and his boyfriend and him that his is her and her that's him and that whole bit. Um, I saw a thing on Drew Barrymore with, um, I don't know who this freak of nature was, some tall man, um, dressed up like a woman. They were on their knees hugging and she was in a suit and he was in a dress and she was he and he was she and uh, ridiculous. And then we have all these false prophets out here. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go into it. You guys see what's going on out here. It's they're getting ready. This, this is going to be the year that something, I mean, if it's not bad enough, it's, you can feel it. It's like, if you have any spirituality, you, you can feel like, oh my God, something's getting ready to pop off. It was kind of like um, before the C-19 hit. I remember I was um, living in my truck at the time, going up and down the coast surfing, and um, I started really listening and paying attention. I'm like, man, something interesting's going on here. I don't know what it is. And then couple months later boom 
locked down, signs everywhere. You can't come here. You can't do this. Can't go here. Put on a mask. You're going to die. People are dying. People are dropping. Rah, rah. Beep, beep, beep. Fear mongering everywhere. And then the jab. And here we are. Two years later. <sighs> wondering what the hell's going on with, uh, with people dropping and um, people um, staying sick, getting sick and staying sick. I haven't felt the same since I had that shit in July. Something, something went haywire with that. It, it attacked me and it hasn't, it was like a um, demon. Felt like a demon because it attacked really hard. I had night sweats and, um, and then it didn't go away for about 12 days. It was like, wow, settling in, huh? So it's almost like, it feels like, um, the 144,000 are sealed and, um, these angels on the four corners have cut loose and that's why, that's why these guys are getting ready to do what they're going to do because they know they have very little time now. It's getting very, the time from what I can tell, I'm, I'm only a messenger. I, I only get the, I'm on a need to know basis. And all I can say is, I can feel it. I can feel something and we'll see if, if what I'm, what the spirit is telling me is true or if that's some kind of fear mongering demon all over me. I don't know. But anyway, um, let's just stay prayed up people because, um, I don't know. It's almost like through my eyes, I can feel my eyes are puffy and hurting. I don't know if it's from being sick or from seeing everything I've seen, like Jackson Brown saying in that song back in the 70s, Dr. My eyes have seen the years and the slow parade of tears without crying. Won't you help me understand? Uh, Dr. My eyes. So anyhow, let's, let's get into scripture. Just wanted to, um, say hey to everyone thanks for being here um this is this is a bible channel this isn't nonsense i'm not trying to get you to believe torah only i'm not trying to get you to believe that black people are the only people that can be saved i'm not trying to teach you that the gentiles are demons and esau edom is the devil and um i try and i try and bring out the interesting parts of the bible that are true Hey, the truth is the truth is cool enough without coming up with all these super sensational bullshit sidebars that all these people come up with. You don't have to believe that the Lord told me I'm JD Nyjah. That's between me and him. I say it because that's what he told me. Um, not not the most. <laughs> not the best person in the Bible. So if he told me I'm that, I have to believe him, even though I don't want to be J.D. Nyjah. I don't want to be Adonijah, really, but I can't help it. If he told me I am, I am. Um, and Benjamin, he told me that years ago. You're a Benjamin of Judah. Huh? And so it's played out that here I am, uh, white Israelite. White Israelite. Can you believe it? So um, Gabar has disappeared. Um, and I've followed GMS for a long time. And any of you that have been on this channel know that, um, I've been ragging on these guys and, and chanting them down, chanting down their Babylon belief system for a while. So when I talk about, let me see if this thing's playing. Thank God. I would have, I probably would have, <laughs> probably would have flipped out if the phone was off. Um, I snorted. Um, the 12 tribes chart thing yesterday um the only reason i push back against that is because um it's not biblical it's not biblical some of it can be considered um to follow some of the some of the tribes could be gad could be a troop 
the um the North American Indians, the um what is it, the Cherokee and the um what is it up there anyway, and then the um Benjamin, the singing prophets could definitely be Jamaica being that the reggae thing and all that. Um we could see Ephraim being the um Puerto Ricans possibly because Puerto Rico is full of gold and that's where the um seat of um the first seat of what would you call it the Federal Reserve was was offshore there for a long time because they there's there's something in there with Puerto Rico and the money and the gold so when you think of Ephraim they were the um the son of Joseph and Joseph was the one with all the abundance. So when you think of Puerto Rico and you think of the gold and you think of how tortured they've been over there, Ephraim, um, and how they're, they cling to idols. Some of these, some of it's true, but to, um, to make that chart and put it out there and then preach, I don't know if that's, um, that's kosher. Um, you're trying to draw in people with their nationality and that's, that's probably blasphemous and, and not in line with the Bible. So anyway, yesterday I was talking about this DFG guy. His channel is, um, DFG and end of end times, DFG end times. And he's a Torah only black idiot. I don't understand why yet you Negro people, you, you black people, you, um, people of color, what is it about you that makes you want to be so different? Why can't you just, what is it that you can't agree? What, what makes you so disagreeable? Every, a lot of, a lot of these black pastors, preachers, that brings up another point. Um, one of my channels, God Rules, this guy was talking about how um, people are turning against the prosperity preachers. They're finally going, you know what? We're tired of you people having all the money. When are you going to When are you gonna give back? When are we going to see these blessings you promise us? Creflo Dollar, um, uh, Joel Osterstein, and, and the Joker, um, whatever her name is, you know who I'm talking about. Joyce Meyer, Oscar Meyer. There's a big push against that prosperity gospel thing um, that is long overdue. I've been I've been chatting these people down too. You know what's going to be interesting is if um, as time goes on, we um, believers family this family rises up and that's what is seems to be on the horizon is that all of a sudden I'm I'm not going to be able to hide anymore I'm not going it's not going to be just us they're going to be like er, all the radar is going to come to JD Nyjah and they're going to be he's a he's a real prophet get him <laughs> um in these these fake Prophets are going to start getting mad because they're like, why Why are they paying attention to that weird-ass surfer dude sitting in his truck at the beach all the time? Why? How's... What? And so it's going to turn into a... Um, it might turn into a flip-flop where um, some of you are going to go, I was... I knew it. I knew it last year. I knew it two years ago. And so... Um, We'll see how that plays out. <laughs> I'm looking around. <laughs> they're, they're coming for me. So this DGF end of days, that's what it is. DFG. And he, <laughs> he wants money. He has his PayPal right on his front page. What's his name? Daniel Green. He wants money to lead you into the pit. Daniel Green, his name's Green. He's he's green, all right, because he doesn't know the Bible. So anyway, what what I wanted to point out today 
this might take a minute. <coughs> Slock you. This, this sickness, man. So I spent a nice day with my grandson yesterday. Saw my son. Um, beautiful day. Worked out perfect. I mean, yeah. What What's perfect? A day with your son and your grandsons? That's perfect. So this DFG Daniel Green jackhole, this fucking idiot, man. What makes Israel think that I don't know what these guys what these guys are doing? The Bible is an integrated message system from outside this time domain. The whole thing the whole Bible. How can you teach the Bible without teaching? The first five books are like a jumping off point. That's okay, let me let me try and explain this the way I see it the way God explained it to me, the first five books didn't actually happen in what we would consider reality. It was a totally different place. It was totally different place. It wasn't, people think, oh, the flood came in Noah's time and the water was all over the whole earth. And yes and no. <laughs> When, we, when you talk about the waters being separated from the waters and all that, that's shit that only the angels can understand. And I have a vague, vague remembrance of what we did and how we did it. But it's not really that important right now because we're here right now. We're in this dispensation. We're in this junkyard. We're in this hellhole. We're in this place of judgment. So, um. People take, either they take it way too literal or they take it not literal enough. Was there a dude named Moses? Yeah. The Bible names him. There's a dude. But was he what we think he was? Not exactly. He was a guy that went up into the chariots and stuff. So I haven't seen anyone go up in the chariots in a long time. <laughs> I haven't even seen a chariot. I mean, I've seen them. I have, I've, I have a picture of the chariots, but I mean... No one's getting sucked up right now to go talk to God. It's We don't need it. We don't need it. We have the Holy Spirit. So there's that. But anyway, let's 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 crack this dumb ass negro over the head. So when we talk about Jesus Christ, so he denies Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's let's get some scriptures. I'm not I'm not rushing through this. Um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Let's let's go to um, a few scriptures and see what they say about Jesus being the Rock. Because what I'm I'm going to show you there's there's so much proof that the the way Chuck Missler used to say it was perfect. The Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. The New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. It's a revelation. It's a revealing. It's a. How can you teach the Bible without the revelation of Jesus Christ? It makes my fucking head hurt, people. And there's people listening to this guy and sending him money. And he teaches Torah only and Abba Yah. Abba Yah. He can't just say Father God. He has to say Abba Yah because he's some kind of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Everyone has to just say something other. Yeshua, Yahushua, whatever fucking name they come up with to make them sound like they're smart. Father God. Most High. Easy. El Shaddai, again, terrible one. Yahweh, the existent I am. Come on, man. Come on, sir. Abba Yah, Elohim.
there's not a lot of things that piss me off anymore. But people that fuck with the Bible, man, thank God the Lord's going to handle these idiots. So in John 37, it says, In the last days, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So, where does this water come from? Where, where, where's a, where in the Old Testament? Let's get another one. Um, let's go to Psalms so you can get a, a clear idea of what I'm, what I'm espousing here, what I'm teaching. How dare, how dare people teach the Bible wrong? I, oh, and, and think, and they think they're right. I, I think they think they're right. They are so deluded and so out of their friggin' retarded minds. And I'm just setting myself up for these guys to come after me because they're going, that guy knows, the, the, the AI is going, I know the Bible, and that guy knows the Bible too. You think the AI hasn't studied the Bible? So it's going to, he's going to, the AI is going to learn how to tell even better lies than these fucking idiots. Um, in Psalm 62, my rock and my salvation. Truly my soul waiteth upon God, from him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing, a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They de delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse in with inwardly. Salah. So what's it saying? It's talking about these idiots. So let's go to um, Exodus. Let's see what, back in the Torah, let's see what the Torah says about the rock. How do you, how do you read the Torah without seeing Jesus all over it? I mean, I could go into all kinds of places where, who's the angel of the Lord anyway? Who who wrestled with Jacob, that angel of the Lord? Who was that? That was Jesus. He threw Jacob's hip out of place. Don't these, don't they wonder who these angels are? Don't these idiots wonder who these angels are? They're all pieces of the spirit, the Holy Spirit. They're, they're pieces of the truth. They're pieces of Jesus. Some of them are him in the, what do they call it? It's a Christophany. He appeared to Jacob. They made a pact. Who did he make a pact with? He had, the Heavenly Father wasn't coming down here making many pacts. I showed you that yesterday. He just wanted to get, get it over with. He's like, fuck this. I regret I even made these bitches. People don't get it. He's not, Father God is not, does not suffer sin gladly. Over and over again, he just wanted to torch us. Why did Jesus come? So that we wouldn't get torched. That's the loving part of, of the Heavenly Father. It's not that difficult, people. It's not that difficult. It's killing me to hear people just out of their freaking biblical minds. Exodus 17, I'm almost on it. I almost opened right to it. I was one page off. 17, 6, I was two pages off. Actually, I was no, 17.6. Here we go. 
and the people thirsted there for water. Exodus 17, 3. Uh, and the people thirsted there for water, and the people murmured against Moses and said, Wherefore is it that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle and thirst? And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. What is this with the rock? What is this with stones? They think they're doing the Lord's will. They're picking up stones. They're like, God, God, God's gonna have us kill you because you're not, you didn't give us water, and you, did, you brought us out here. He's gonna kill you now, Moses. And we're gonna be the hand that does it. We're gonna pick up the stone. That's not how it worked out. Moses smites the rock, and the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people and take with thee of the elders of Israel. Who goes with Moses? The elders, the ones that have been here, the first fruits, the ones that have, back then, back then, there were elders, just like Moses, there were first fruits, there were ones that were more in tune with the spirit. It was supernatural. Some people had the power. Aaron and Moses were given the power, and the elders were given the power after them. That's why we see a hierarchy. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. That's why J.D. Nyjah is sitting right here in front of your face going, I'm sorry I look this way. I'm sorry that I can't convince you. I'm s All I can do is do the best I can with what I got. I'm a fumbling, stumbling Israelite who's doing the best I can against a world that is coming hard against the men of the Lord. So there's that. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people and take with thee of the elders of Israel and thy rod. That's your power. <laughs> It's your power stick. Wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thine hand and go. And behold, I will stand before there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come out of it that the people may drink. And Moses did so on the side of the elders of Israel. Hello, Daniel Green, you fucking idiot. Is there something... Is there something wrong with the Negro mind? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know if these people are for real. Is it just to get? Is it just to drive the men of the Lord crazy? Is it to cause some kind of racial division? Um, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense what he's saying. He doesn't. He's teaching the Bible, but he. Ah, slakia. I don't like to get like this. What's what's the rock? He struck Jesus. Jesus is right there. He's the rock. We already looked at that. I mean, I, sorry. <laughs> I don't I don't like to get all emotional because I know it's hard to listen to when someone's. Rah, 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 rah. Um, hey, mate. Let's just let's just calm it down a bit. Get back get back to yourself, eh? Um, and he called the name of the place Masa. And Meribah. Last night, when I was thinking about this, what word came to J.D. Nyjah's mind? Meribah. Why? Because Meribah is that place of bitter waters. The Lord didn't... The Lord's like, all right, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you fucking weak-ass Israelites another chance. Let's, let's go. He called the name of the place Masa and Meribah because of the children of the children of Israel and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? <coughs> Let me see what I got. 